Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to create security policies using untrusted versus trusted requests with Big IP Advanced WEF F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 13 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for new to intermediate level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used for sending requests to build the security policy. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the backend web server. Through this process, Big IP Advanced Web can begin creating a web application security policy. We'll start by taking a look at the virtual server we'll be protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. We'll create a big IP advanced web security policy to protect the virtual server. We'll give the policy a name. Select the template type, which for this policy we'll leave set to fundamental and select the virtual server we're protecting. In addition, we'll specify the web application language. Note that we are not adding any entries for trusted IP addresses. We'll now save the new security policy. We'll now access the Big IP Advanced Web Learning and Blocking Settings page. We'll expand the file types section and change the learn new file types option to always. We'll then expand the parameters section and we'll also change the learn new parameters option to always. We'll also select the learn, alarm, and block checkboxes for all parameter violations. And finally, we'll select this option, which ensures that Big IP Advanced WEF will configure each parameter according to the data input by users. We'll then save and apply the policy. We'll now access the web application to generate user requests. We'll simply access web pages to submit requests through Big IP Advanced WEF to the web application. Next, we'll examine the Big IP Advanced WEF traffic learning page. This page displays the learning suggestions that have been generated by user requests. There are learning suggestions for file types and parameters. The learning score indicates how far a suggestion is from being accepted into the security policy. When using automatic policy building, which we are, suggestions are added to the policy once they reach 100%. With a learning score of only 5%, the policy builder needs more traffic samples for these suggestions. We can select a learning suggestion, such as the file type suggestion for the PHP file type. In the middle of the page we can view how many sample requests were used for this suggestion, and how many total requests were triggered. Presently there is only one sample request. This sample request was from one untrusted source. The source IP address is 10.1.10.199. Next, we'll access the web application again to generate more requests.
We'll then reload the traffic learning page. The learning scores did not increase. Let's open the allowed file types page. There are no explicit file type entities in this security policy. Let's look at the parameters list page. In addition, there are no explicit parameter entities in this security policy. We'll now configure trusted IP addresses for building this security policy. First, let's reopen the traffic learning page again. And examine the enforcement readiness summary section. Currently there is only one file type, and one parameter. The entities in question are the wildcard entries. When using untrusted requests, which we currently are, it takes a lot of unique traffic, from unique IP addresses, using unique sessions over time, to slowly see an increase in the learning score. We'll now access the IP address exceptions page. And enter an IP address of 10.1.10.199. We'll identify this as a policy builder trusted IP address. Let's see this change in the learning and blocking settings page. At the bottom of the page, we'll open the advanced settings and then expand the Trusted IP Addresses section. The IP address that we created is now considered a Trusted IP address for building this security policy. Remember, we could have entered this IP address when we initially created the security policy. Don't forget to apply the policy. We'll now generate more requests for the web application this time using a different workstation. Note that we are opening a PDF page. We'll then reload the traffic learning page. Let's select the new learning suggestion for the PDF file type. The learning score for this suggestion is 5%, because the request came from the second workstation, whose IP address is 10.1.10.51, which means it's still considered an untrusted source. Notice in the Enforcement Readiness Summary section that there is still only one file type, and one parameter. We'll now generate more requests from the trusted workstation, including accessing the PDF file. We'll then reload the traffic learning page. Nearly all the previous learning suggestions are no longer listed. Notice in the Enforcement Readiness Summary section that there are now 10 file types, and 4 parameters. We'll select the Open Filter button, and select to view all accepted, and staged items. These are all the learning suggestions that have been accepted into the security policy. Notice that all the file type and parameter suggestions have a learning score of 100%. Let's once again select the PDF file type suggestion and examine the details in the middle of the page. When using the trusted IP address of 10.1.10.199, it took only one request to give the suggestion a learning score of 100%, and when using automatic policy building, these suggestions were automatically accepted into the security policy. Let's open the allowed file types page. Several explicit file types have been added to the file type whitelist. 
Let's look at the parameters list page. The three parameters we used on the login page have been added to the parameter whitelist. In the web application, we'll use a new input field and button on this web page. We'll then reload the parameters list page. The two parameters we just used, from the trusted workstation, have been added to the parameters whitelist. Thank you for watching this demonstration on creating security policies using untrusted requests versus trusted requests with F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.